What's going on folks? Welcome back to the Launch Art Channel. So if you guys will remember, a couple years ago I did a video on our City of Franklin compost facility. And on that video, I actually did a tour of the place. I got the lay of the land. I got to meet Todd King, who is their facility manager. And we talked about compost and the benefits of it and everything else. And I'll actually put a link to that video up in the eye and I'll also put it down in the description. So if you guys wanna go check it out, um, it's, it's a great resource for you to just learn a little bit about how our system works and to see if you guys have a place of your own in your city or in your municipality. The purpose of me bringing that up is because today I went out there and I got a couple of yards of compost. And today I'm actually gonna do my spring project, mostly for the Bermuda, but I'm also gonna put some back here in the fescue. By putting the compost into the lawn, it does a couple things, especially for the Bermuda. It'll help bring it out of dormancy faster, simply because we are bringing in that black compost. And what it does is it helps absorb a lot of heat and helps the Bermuda come out of dormancy a little bit quicker. The other reason why I do it is because I really like to introduce a lot more organic material into the soil. We're going to be leveling the front this summer with sand, and so I want to go ahead and put in some compost now so that we have organic material there. But I'm also going to put some back here in the fescue. I'm not as worried back here because I don't want to mat it all down. The, the Bermuda doesn't care. You can't really smother it, but the fescue can. So we're going to put down a nice thin layer. But in both cases, what we're going to do is we're going to use up my Lansy uh, compost and peat moss spreader to put all this stuff down. That'll get rid of any big chunks and debris. And then we'll put in the nice clean layer of compost. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm starting it tonight. It's a Wednesday night, so I'm probably not going to work on it for too long. But we are going to start that and maybe finish it sometime this weekend. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, and that's why I'm doing it tonight on the front because hopefully this will help get, you know, some of the rain will actually help push it into the soil. But uh, we're going to start putting that down. I've got two yards, like I said. It should take most of it. Whatever I don't use, I'll put into my flower beds. That's what we're starting on. And I know I said no projects, but I don't consider this a project because it really is for the lawn. It's not like I'm killing the lawn to start over. So, you know, I'm, I'm justifying the fact that I'm actually doing this project now and, uh, and it's not a project. Anyway, let's get to it.
All right, folks, well, we finished everything yesterday and unfortunately it got dark and I wasn't able to show you guys the finished product last night, but I'm gonna show you today what it looks like. I think my biggest concern was that by putting down the compost on this fescue where it really isn't cut down to a half an inch like the front where you can really put a little bit of a thin layer and see exactly what's going on and work it in with my leveling rake. I was afraid that I was gonna be smothering things, but because of that Lansy roller, it does a fantastic job of just putting a nice thin layer and it allows for the compost to actually work its way through the grass and not smother anything. So let me show you what it looks like right now. Back here, everything looks really good. There is no clumps of compost anywhere. And at most what you're seeing is just a little bit of compost on the top. Uh, I've got my sprinklers going off tonight, and I think that that's going to help to work everything else in. As you can see, there is no clumping anywhere, and I don't have any worries about the fescue being smothered by anything. All right, so as you take a look at the front, you can actually see that the stripes are still looking really good. All of that compost that I did a few days ago has pretty much worked its way down into the canopy, and I think that we are in really good shape. I mean, we've... We don't have any Bermuda out here yet, but this is gonna be a really good way to kickstart everything. But I couldn't be happier with this perennial ryegrass. I just wish that the heat wasn't gonna just uh, take it away from me. But you know me, I love Bermuda, so I'm looking forward to that. And this is just a great way to bring that Bermuda out of dormancy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that we have finished this project. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick reminder as to why I do the compost in the lawn, especially up at the front. Number one, I want to make sure that we have plenty of organic material in my lawn. Uh, one of the problems with living in Middle Tennessee in the Nashville area is that we have a lot of clay. And that clay is good for water retention, but it's not so good when it comes to nutrients and having compost in the lawn is going to help that. The second reason why I do this is because it really allows me to give the Bermuda a little bit of a kickstart. We've actually had a really, really chilly spring. In fact, this morning it was about 40 degrees and we're well into the beginning of May. But by putting in the compost and bringing in that dark dirt, it actually helps to retain a lot of heat, which will help the Bermuda come out of dormancy. So that's really the second reason why I do it up front. The back is because we get a lot of washout. You guys remember all the troubles I've had over the last couple of years with this lawn, having a bunch of washout, and I'm constantly working on trying to maintain the level of organic material back here. I won't be introducing any sand back here. There's no need to. I'm not going to be cutting this short. In fact, I love the fact that I love the way that it looks right now. It's nice and thick and long. It's about, you know, three and a half inches long. I may even bring it up to the very top of my mower, but I, I really love this look. It looks fantastic back here. As for the front with the Bermuda, I will be doing leveling, so I'll be adding a bunch of sand. So by bringing in the compost and bringing in that organic material, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a layering effect and I'm able to put compost that is actually the organic material with the sand that is less organic but allows for the leveling. And we'll just continue to do that because we'll continue to build up the soil and make it a lot better than what it was when I first moved in here, which was basically just straight clay. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comment down below. If you guys do something similar like this, I'd love to hear about how you guys do it in, uh, in your lawns. But this is uh, one of the things that I've done in the past, especially when I had my other house where it was straight Bermuda and it worked out great for me. We'll continue to do the things that we need to do. We'll continue to fertilize. We'll continue to take care of weeds. This is just a really good way to fortify your lawn and to make your lawn have the best chance of success throughout the season by continuing to add that organic material. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if I've earned your subscription. And if you wanna be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell and we will see you on the next one. Have a great week, everybody.